everyone so this is my day 21 uh, push up the gospel 40 days challenge and glory to god oh, praise god talaga no? sa, salamat talaga sa, sa power sa strength na minibigyan nito sa akin so this is my bible verse for today from isaiah 41 chapter 41 verse 10 it said fear not for i am with you be not dismayed for i am your god i will strengthen in you Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. Sa Tagalog, huwag kang matakot sapagkat ako'y suma sa iyo. Huwag kang magdumaybay sapagkat ako'y iyong Diyos. Aking palalakasin ka? Oo, aking tutulungan ka. Oo, aking aalalayan ka ng kanang kamay ng aking kansiri. Amen. Kapag nasa kalagitnaan ka ng matinding pagsubok, where your faith is being tested to the limit, sometimes yung negative feelings mo ay nag-grow that you wonder if God really cares. It can seem at times that nobody understands. Those feelings of isolation and helplessness can lead you to despair. The reality is you are never alone in your trials. God hasn't forgotten you. Even now, He can work in your situation. It is through your weakness, weaknesses that His strength is most readily made to manifest. Sa mundong punong-puno ng takot at pangamba, magtiwala ka lang sa mga pangako niya. Sabi sa Isaiah, do not fear, for I am with you. Yield your weaknesses to Him. Surrender it, guys. Put them in His hands and ask Him to work through them. Kapatid, huwag kang malungkot or madiscourage. Mahal ka ni Lord at handa ka niyang samahan sa lahat ng pagsubok na kakaharapin mo. Whatever it may be, that is threatening you in your life right now, God said, fear not, for I am with you. He really cares for you, kapatid ko. Kung bibigyan mo, ko ng, bibigyan mo ng pagkakataon na kilalanin mo ng lubusan ng ating Panginoon at tatanggapin mo siya bilang Panginoon mo at sarili mong tagapagliktas, hindi ka na matatakot o mag-aalala pa sapagkat ibibigyan mo sa kanya ang iyong tiwala. Because in His love, there is no fear. Because His fear, His love, perfect has all fears in your heart. Surrender it and accept Jesus. Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Allow Jesus Christ fill your heart with His love. So God did that glory. So guys, fear not. Let not your heart be troubled. God is with us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Hello everyone. So this is my day twenty-two of push up the gospel forty-day challenge and glory to God. This is my Bible verse for today from Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. It said, And my God shall supply all your need according to His riches and glory by Christ Jesus. God has more than enough. Sapat na at pa. How blessed we are knowing and believing that our God takes care of us and supply all our needs from His glorious riches which have given to us in Christ Jesus. Sapat na at pa. Alam niyo kantang, Di manangamba sa kawalan Palamoy, laging laan di matatakot sa pangalim Pagkat naririyan ka palagi ito Di matitinag sa pagsubok Pagsama mo'y piyak at lupos Di mapipigil sa paghawi Pagkat ikaw ay mabuti Amen God is our shepherd Yung biyaya niya ay sapat na higit pa Sapat na sa, baw, sa lahat ng pangailangan Higit pa sa lahat na inaasahan Si Jesus pa lang, sapat na higit pa. Lagi natin tatandaan na sa mundong ito, puno ng kaguluhan, mayroon tayong Diyos na handang kumabay sa atin. Mayroon tayong Diyos na handang tugunan ang bawat pangangailangan natin para sa ating ikabubuti. No matter what happened, He promised to stay by our side. God has enough wealthy to which supply all of His children. Luck not his problem. He is our good shepherd. Have you Psalm 23 verse 1? He is my, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not lack. And his problem has been getting his people to believe what he says about their prosperity in his word. His problem has been getting us to be kingdom of God minded in our finances. So go beyond what you can figure out. And just trust him. Natiwala lang tayo sa Panginoon. Trust Him to do what He has promised. Our God is a promise to you. Base your action, your prayers, and your faith on what the Word says and not your circumstances. Hindi sa pagsubok mo. Pagka tumingin sa pagsubok mo, brother and sister, focus on Jesus. Get kingdom of God minded. Si Yeso Cristo pa lang, sapat na tigit pa. Slong na paniniwalaan mo siya at kakapit ka sa Kanya. 
He will supply all our our needs. He will supply your needs. Praise God. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Hello everyone, so this is my day 23 of Push Up the Gospel, 40 Days Challenge, and glory to God, glory to Jesus. This is my Bible verse for today, from Romans chapter 4, verse 21. And be in being fully convinced that what he had promised, he was also able to perform. A promise keeper, that's our God. Promise are meant to be broken, madalas natin itong narinigig sa iba. So, lalo na sa mga taong nawawala na ng pag-asa sa salitang pangako. Ngunit totoo nga ba na may pagpapala sa pag-asa sa isang pangako? Ano nga ba ang layunin ng mga paghihintay? Ano nga ba magiging resulta kapag ikaw ay patuloy na kumasa sa isang pangako? Marahil kung nga nasugat ang puso mo at kapag nakakarinig o nakakabasa ka ng salitang pangako, may kung anong kirot na sa puso mo na hindi mo maipaliwanan. Alam mo ba na sa kapag sa pangako ng Panginoon ka nagtiwala at naniwala, hindi ka mabibigo? Pagkos, mas bibigyan ka pa niya ng pag-asa. Lagi mong tatandaan na ang Panginoon na nangako ay tumupad sa pangako kay Abraham at siya rin Panginoon mo ngayon. Our God is a promise keeper. You know that song? Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. Diyos ng kaparaanan, Diyos ng milagro, tagapag-inan ng mga pangako. O Diyos, walang katulad mo. Amen. During your waiting season, trust God's promises. Lagi ka lang connect sa source at pagkakaroon ka ng kasiyahan sa puso mo. Habang naghihintay ka sa mga pangako ng Panginoon, because you know, the King of Kings and the Lords of Lords will fulfill His promises. Kaya kapitan mo ang mga pangako ng Panginoon. Dahil sa iyon, ang pinakamatiba na pundasyon na walang makakasira kailan man. Paniwalaan natin. Believe that our God is a promise keeper. Sabi rin, sabi rin sa Ephesians 3.20, Now to Him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that work in us. If you have Christ, Christ Jesus in your life, mga kapatid ko, claim it. Lahat ng pangako ni Lord, magmutupad yan. At tuto pa rin niya yan. Amen. Push up. Hello everyone, this is my day 24 of Push Up the Gospel for today's challenge. And glory to God, glory to Jesus. This is my Bible verse for today from Matthew 16 verse 24 to 26. Then Jesus said to his disciple, If anyone desire to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. For what profit is to a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? Paano nga ba kung tuloy ang isinuko ang buhay? Mo sa Lord. Intriguing, di ba? Hindi ito yung pagsuko na ibig sabihin, talo ka. Panalo ka kasi alam mo na pinagsukuan mo ng buhay mo ay ang mismo magbigay ng buhay niya para sa'yo. Ito yung tipong pinipilit mo makahanap ng reason upang maguli ng sarili mo. Kasi pagod ka na, ayaw mo na pero walang nangyari. Pero nung naisip mo magdasal at sumuko sa Lord, dahil hindi ito ka na nagsisimulang umiyak kasi nararamdaman mo nung umusap at kasama mo siya. Kapatid, sa oras na hinayangan mo mabasag ka, hinami mo mahina ka. Inamin mo kailangan mo siya. Inamin mo makasalanan ka. Tuwi siya papasok sa buhay mo. Once you take up your cross, deny yourself, and decide to follow Him, dito na magsisimulang mabago ang buhay mo. Higit sa lahat, nare-realize mo na mapalag ka at minahal ka niya ng buho. A Christian life is a changed life, mga kapatid. Kapag nabago ka at natuto ka mag-surrender, lumayo ka man, babalik at babalik ka pa sa kanya. Kapag nasimulan mo nang i-deny ang sarili mo just to feel way low kay Lord, mahirap na nang mga pabalik. Christ is enough. Christ is enough for me. Christ is enough for me. 
siya lang nakapag-satisfy sa longing heart sa puso mo. Sa puso mo na nanabi na ni magmamahal sa'yo ng buong buko. I have decided to follow Jesus not turning back not turning back to cross before me the world behind me not turning back no turning back Kapag, kapag naranasan mo na naranasan mo na sa pain ng Panginoon Yeso Kristo no turning back na Hello everyone, so this is my day 25 of Push Up the Gospel 40 Days Challenge and glory to God. This is my Bible verse today from Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. I can do all things through Christ who is strengthening me. We all have different struggles. Lahat tayo meron. Iba-ibang pain, sorrow, pinagdadaanan at laban. But one thing is for sure, God's grace is sufficient. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9, He said, My grace is sufficient for you, but my strength is made perfect in weakness. Walang hindi kaya abuti ang grace ni Lord. He promised na hindi ka niya iiwan o pababayaan man. Hindi naman talaga dumadali ang buhay, sadyang lumalakas lang at tumitibay lang tayo, especially sa tulong ni Pang ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. Basta huwag mo lang siyang tatalikuran at palaging islamo sa laban. Hindi ka lang niya panonoorin. Sasamahan niya pa tayo sa laban. He didn't promise a life without storm. But one thing is a certain. He will be with us through it. Sasamahan niya tayo. Iyong nangako sa ating hindi tayo iiwan sa gitna ng bagyo ay eh siyang nagpatahimik at nagpakalwan ito. Just continue to run the race. Huwag ka mapagod. If God is with us, who can be against us? Romans chapter 8, verse 1. Ilaban mo yan hanggang sa buhay. Kapit lang, laban lang. No matter how rough the road is, just remember to enjoy the ride knowing that God is the one who, who is holding the steering wheel. We can do all things through Christ who gave us to Kapit lang mga kapatid. Trust God with all your heart. We can do all things through Christ. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30.